fabulous, fabulous. Feet. MGQ. <laughs> First of all, I want to say, I cannot believe this show has been on for close to a year and you haven't been to 10 over 10. No. What has been a good How? Why? I know you travel a lot. I know, I travel a lot. Yeah. And I think um, everything happens at exactly the right time. Mm -hmm. So first, I want to say this is the most lit show I've ever been to. Hey, let's go! It's a beautiful energy. Yes, absolutely. It's cool. It's cool. It's nice to see like so many young people. And you guys look the part. You're wilding out. You're having a good time. Thank you. It's so good to be here. First of all, before I forget, your backup dancer is amazing. I've seen a lot of backup dancers on this stage, but she's just like so unique and doing her own thing. That was incredible. Now, you are just a very unique artist. And I've told you this before. And I just love everything about you yeah. the create you know are you a, your own creative director and you know the look and you know everything yeah. uh, teamwork makes the dream work I work with a really competent uh, stylist Lucy Robbie and so we think about uh, each season we think in quarters like for the next three months what we want to explore for the next year what we want to explore so for example I now like to wear my hair big like a man like a lion <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but I always wear this Maasai beads, I wear a lot of them. Um, for me, it's become something that's very close to my heart when I travel. And they ask me about what does this mean, and then I, I, I get to talk about home. Yeah. Um, it's something that I really love. Um, so we just we create that together. Uh, for the music, I work with really competent uh, producers from Switzerland. There's two amazing guys, GR and Hook. And so they've really helped me to refine my thinking and to explore my my taste and to to push me that like yeah let's just, if you like to do this hip hop let's let's go further so then it's good to work with people mm -hmm. um i think the the real thing i would say is if you see an artist who looks well put together it's a team there's a whole army behind them right. and there's space for everybody you know um you don't have to be an artist yourself if you like music but maybe your real thing is fashion mm -hmm. You can work with an artist around their image. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's space for everybody. <laughs> um, you know, talk to us about uh, the, the narrative of, of your some of your latest music because, yeah. like you said, you're very calculated in how you, yeah. you put out your music yeah. and how you you know package yourself. Yeah. So, so what, what's the narrative? What's the narrative? <laughs> so um, this year has been really a lot of fun. So um, outside of the project that I'm doing in Switzerland, I'm also doing another project with Kagwe, Mayonde, Fena, Blinky, the Squa, <laughs> Squa. Uh -huh. We're taking over. Now we're taking over. Now we'll be taking over, though. Now we'll be taking over. Don't believe anybody who's trying to tell you. Is my bit thinking it may change? This is the last year I'm not scared. My windows are my oga ko chat. This is not talka. Now we'll be taking over. Now we'll be taking over. I love it. So for real, though. Um, so I work on this project with Kagwe, Mayonde, and Fena, and Blinky, and our whole idea is that we have the permission to be ourselves and just to make music that's dope. There's no, don't we leave. For years we were told that if you wanted to make Kenyan music, it has to be Kapuka or it has to be Genge. And I love Kapuka and I love Genge, but it's not true that this is the only thing available. Where I just make music, but I need dope, but I need dope. Um, and for us it's like because we have the benefit of traveling we see that the world is big so we don't want to just be we don't want to be here for us it's like Kenya to the world mm -hmm. you know for us it's not a it's not a dream to say that <laughs> the place where we want to go is that is that place it, it exists we've yeah. seen it with our eyes it exists yeah. so I work on that project and the whole purpose of the squad project is love is to have love for each other I think that's a thing that Kenyans need to do. Aki Kenyans to Najichukia Dro. Sijuni, Aki, Sindio. Real talk, real talk. To Najichukia. I think it's important that you use uh, the word squad because yeah. a lot of people are thinking that you guys are now a group. You no. Know? That's how our minds are. No, we're not a group. People are doing a bunch of things exactly. together. Think a group. We're just a squad. We're just people who love each other. We are fans of each other. Everybody has such a different sound. But we are fans of each other, and I think that's a thing that we have to share with the fans. Before we are musicians, we are music fans. As in, 
I'm such a fan of so many artists um, uh, and because of being a fan it, it has given me appreciation for how much artists put into their work. So now as an artist, being a fan of another artist is just like level 200. Yeah. And we wanted to make this music together so that we can say to all the young Kenyans, you guys, we are one, first and foremost. And Kenyans have to write for Kenyans. And Kenyans have to believe in Kenya. And Kenyans have to present Kenya to each other. But we're about dopeness. Right, and Kenyans are dope. We're not doing these of you to could Thank you. <laughs> the so, so uh, you know, you, you so I'm very calculated in that area. Mm -hmm. And then in the other stuff, like Kenyan message, mm -hmm. which I'm going to hope you're going to let me talk about. Yeah, yeah. In just a second, I was just going to ask you because you talked about your travels to Switzerland and yeah. you've traveled, uh, you know, in different places around the world. How is Kenyan music received? There, you know, we just see what we see here yeah. in Nairobi. See, uh, Nani Ametongo, Mampia, yeah. Iko Easy, it's playing on the radio yeah. here or it's not. Yeah. But how is Kenyan music received? So, to be honest, happen? you guys, we have to put in a lot of work. Uh, Saudi Soul can't do it alone. So everywhere you go on the continent, they're like, oh, we know Saudi Soul. Mm. Saudi Soul have already opened the door. Now we need like a hundred people to run through that door that Saudi Soul have opened, right? Because an industry is. You only start rapping when it's a lot, you know what I mean? Like we don't know one bongo artist, we know a lot of bongo music, mm -hmm. right? Or we know a lot of Nigerian music, mm -hmm. you don't know one artist. Yeah. Um, and so there is space and people are curious, every place I go they're like, so what does Kenyan music sound like? So what's hot from Kenya? So what's interesting from Kenya? And a lot of times I'm just like, okay there's this and then there's this and then there's this and I realize that what we need is a lot, you know like when you say what's hot from Jamaica, <laughs> you know what I mean, <laughs> you just say like, even just this week, yeah, <laughs> right? you know what I mean, yeah. Yeah. so that's mm -hmm. where we need to go, mm -hmm. but I, I will say this, there's been a lot of stepping up in 2017, um, artists are on the grind, uh, there's a lot of good new music, hot videos, mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have, like, Okay, already this week just for hip hop, how happy are we? Like, <laughs> yeah. to our teens, to our teens, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, Octos TBT, um, Steph Capella. There's a lot of good music that has already come out just in this one week, mm -hmm. right? And so for me, it's like just ride for this music, push it. We. We do the music, and then the fans push us to the next level. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, talk to us about the project uh, that you, that you yeah. want to talk about. So, Kenyan Message, mm -hmm. that's a song that I said in So, um, I know it's not, I know it's not uh, cool <laughs> to talk about politics. I get it, yeah? In fact, I didn't care about politics. I was not even going to vote in this election. Wow. Until the doctor strike. Me actually changed my mind with the doctor strike. Because for me, it made me understand like Sio choice yako kukwa mgonjwa Sawa Majority of us are to afford health insurance Na hata kama uko na health insurance inaishaga Usikuwe mgonjwa more than two weeks, itaisha And then when the doctors went on strike, I have friends who are doctors So I really wanted to understand and they're like, man Ata mkeka kazi ya mshahara aside, yeah the actual conditions of the hospital that we are working in. Nikamo Chawi, Mnakudra, you're going to die, and you're going to die of something that I can treat, but I don't have the tools to treat this. Mm -hmm. And the government made a promise to upgrade the hospitals in 2013, and they just keep going round and round in circles, and then we woke up one morning, and five billion was missing from the Ministry of Health. So for me, I was like, okay. I'm young, I'm in Kenya, missing a backup plan in Guinea. Kenya is everything, sour. Uh, but the country is being run by people who don't care. And for me, I knew that they didn't care when they let doctors go on strike for a hundred days. And when the doctors were fighting for Kenyans to have better hospitals, the politicians don't go to those hospitals that we go to. We've never gone to school with any politicians' children. But the thing is, they don't steal the election, we give it to them. Sindio wa choose. Tunaboeka, tutaki ku engage. Wana bo, we don't know who to choose. You don't know, you don't wanna, it's not cool. You know. Saia kuna unga. Wasi mna za believe kitu kama hiyo. Hakuna unga Kenya. Na, 
me let me tell you for me Kenyan message is uh <laughs> alright but for me Kenyan message really actually see fala according to me see fala right when i say in the song na wale wana do ni 1% see wao naga siku ya kulipa rent right sisi ukuwaga ndani ya predicament biggest spender government matenda matenda pranua na zikiagi so for me i was just i felt so angry and i was talking to my friends and this lady that i was talking to she was like you can get mad or you can get into action and you might not be able to change everything but you have power over small areas and she's like uneza win like for example if you decide to check into politics you can you don't have to pick the two people or the the main parties there are many independent candidates right you can win the mca level maybe you can't win at the president level but mca ndio na decide kama mko na street lights kwa mtani yenu wa masivyo So man I could just sit here so and that's why for that's why I wrote the message but then it's bumping you know mm-hmm. and I'm just like I feel yeah. like my youth dem wa Kenya ni kama jango sometimes mimi uanda mbona si ja enda anda Oh god I love it um you know on top of being an, an artist you, you're an activist and you are I'm just I'm you're mad getting there right now you're getting there and you're also a businesswoman of yes. course the CEO of uh, Blankets and Wine and yeah. you just you inspire so many I spoke to a young lady I uh, interviewed a young lady on Power Breakfast earlier this week and I asked her who inspires you and she yeah. said well, only the drama queen oh, everything she's so done how she, you've created uh-huh. spaces for artists and just yeah. how you brand yourself and carry yourself and so there's so many young people who do look up to you Thank so you. I want you to talk to that person and who's been waiting all night to see you okay. and just you know have a word of encouragement yeah. i yeah. know you're angry <laughs> but maybe you can encourage no, someone no i'm i'm more tonight. loving than angry at least i know what to do with my anger mm-hmm. um you guys i think if there's anything i would say f- now sincerely even more sincerely than everything i've said before is umetosha vile tu uko umetosha umejitosha umetosha you you're not here to copy anybody to imitate anybody you're just here to do you to be you and i know it's difficult and confusing there's even times joy even now there's times i look in the mirror and i'm like what am i doing with my life right um but i know that anything that has happened or that has worked something like blankets which is now about to enter the third country in like 2 months has happened because i accepted myself this is who i am these are the things that i like and these are the things i'm going to be good at and then i just went for it and i didn't have any business training when i started i didn't know the things that i know now mm-hmm. but i had a firm belief in the vision right that musicians should have a platform to perform and i want to connect africa and i feel that when people look from the outside they're like oh that thing that you've done i want to copy that thing that you've done don't copy what i've done i'm not perfect it was just my version of events you can look at what i've done and be inspired by it so that you can do the thing you came to do here every one of us came to do something very special and very unique in life and i need you to believe that idea umetosha venye uko you don't need to change change to become a better version of yourself not to imitate somebody right if you don't like if you don't feel like your clothes express you ask yourself who you really are and start dressing the way that expresses you and it doesn't matter what you like come on apenda nails be the best nail technician the world has ever seen right because it's an irreplaceable function if you like cake make the best cake in the world make the best bakery if you like hair make the best hair be the best hairdresser in fact own a factory and manufacture mm-hmm. hair for mm-hmm. us mm-hmm. right think big there's there's, there's yeah. nothing that you like that can't give you a life mm-hmm. and there's no akuna ceiling like to never fanya if you like makeup don't just become a makeup artist become the best makeup artist then go and open a factory and make the makeup yourself 
right? Yeah. yeah. So just believe yourself, guys. It's available. It's possible. Give it up for Muzoni, the drama queen. I mean, so much inspiration. <laughs> Like I said, I could just sit here and talk to you forever, but uh, we are out of time, so, so uh, we do have to wind up the show. It's been such an amazing time. Have you guys had fun tonight? Because I... Yes. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you to DJ Crossfade for being here. Our resident DJ on 10 over 10, <laughs> making his way back home. Uh, this week and of course I do want to also say thank you to uh, PSK once again and uh, Trust Condoms for reminding us a very important message we're going into the wow. oh, true. yeah thank you this guy's like my new co-host <laughs> and to Willis Abu I don't know if you're watching but uh, you know we miss you come back soon from your honeymoon uh, <laughs> I do miss him I do miss him a little bit <laughs> <laughs> and to everybody who's been watching and tweeting, we appreciate your feedback uh, and thank you for uh, making us trend. We're going to close out the show with uh, another performance from uh, the one, the only, the boss chick, MGQ. So again, give it up for Mudoni, the drummer.